We are back today with another TikTok made me buy it because for some reason you guys like watching what TikTok made me buy. <laughs> Let's go. All right, the first TikTok, I believe it is called like something about eyeglass. I don't know what it's called. It just cleans your glasses. <laughs> Here it is. Okay, I'm gonna be honest, I actually tried this before now. This is not my first time trying this. As you can see, I took it out of the box. I was very intrigued by this. I feel like glasses are always dirty and the little like rag that they give you, doesn't it never cleans them correctly. It works. It works so well. First thing, I have like a little brush. They look pretty clean like on video, I guess, but they're not super dirty actually. You kind of use this first. And then you kind of like, open it. I don't know if you can see like the inside of that, but it's kind of got like soft microfiber texture. I like like the shape of it because it really gets in every single corner. Like seriously y'all, I'm gonna keep this in my backpack now because this is magical. This cleans my glasses so well. So first thing, first one, 10 out of freaking 10. I recommend this. If you have glasses, buy it, just do it. You'll never regret it. No more cleaning on your shirt. You know, like the thing, 100%. I'm a believer, do it. Next product, this TikTok actually makes me very scared. You can watch for yourselves. Okay, here we have it. Rylan did one of these um, over the summer, last summer, and I'm not even kidding. Her feet were peeling for like a week. I'm nervous, but super excited to try this. Also that TikTok just looked very gross, but I kind of want to see like the wonders. Like it's intriguing to me still. All right, I am starting. It says to soak in warm water for 10 to 20 minutes, soften your skin, and then you leave this on for 60 to 90. I think I should just go for it and do the 90. I have a pot here for my feet. I'm not sure I really want to show all of my feet. It's a great look. And a pot. Okay, we're officially at the next step. It's a large foot. <laughs> Ooh, he caught on my hand. Kind of smells good. I'm gonna stick my foot in. Feels gross. Oh, I guess there was an open tab I missed. <laughs> Feels weird. So far, I've seen nothing. It smells really good, but it kind of smells like doctor's office. <laughs> so far, nothing. But I think it takes a day or two, and then we'll start seeing something. I'll update you as we go. The next product is this, which I think I got like too big of one, if I'm being honest. I think I got the wrong size, because this is massive, and it's heavy. The TikTok showed, basically it just gets every drop out of like the product you're using, which I think would be really pain or helpful for like painters and stuff like that. I just think this is too big to like keep in a bathroom drawer. I'm gonna go grab my toothpaste. Let me turn the lights on. First of all, I swear that was an accident. Second of all, I would just like to note, I saved the egg. <laughs> I have my toothpaste here. I believe you just pinch it and then twist. Oh dude, that, oh, it's gonna explode. Whoa. You see how full that is? Okay, so I don't think you need to keep this with your toothpaste. You just like use it and then like go put it in the laundry room. Okay, I'm actually kind of a fan. Like look at how much easier that is now. Wow. Just to test it, I have this other toothpaste that I used, just finished. It's called David's, I got it from Target. And it does come with its own like little twisty thing, but I wanna see if this one, like, cause this is gone. I've tried getting everything out of it. I wanna see if this one gets more toothpaste out of it. Cause that would be interesting. What do we think? Oh, I'm seeing some stuff come up. Oh, I mean, it definitely got some more out of there. I definitely have at least three more brushes left with this tape, with this toothpaste. It's more effective than this. I'm gonna keep that. Save me money at toothpaste. As my knee is red from where I fell on the floor. 
go along with this one. If you're on TikTok, I'm sure you've seen these because you know, there's all those TikTok like dentists and dermatologists and all those kind of things. This is the TikTok we're looking at. The Thousand Bristle Toothbrush. It feels so weird. I wanna brush my teeth with it and see what I think. I did see after I bought it, I saw a review from a dentist saying that it was for sensitive gums. So it doesn't do like as an effective job of cleaning, um, which because it feels like softer, it's not as like hard and can't like get food out necessarily, but I'm also not a dentist and don't know for sure. <laughs> but I still wanna try it. It feels weird. Like I don't feel like my teeth are getting clean. like not very foamy either. I don't think I like this. I also don't think I'm quite the demographic that they're looking for because I think it's for if you have sensitive gums. I don't feel like I have sensitive gums. It was an interesting experience. I'm glad I tried it because I've been curious but I don't think I'd buy these. I don't know if y'all can see it. It looks so weird. All right this next one I kind of already have a product that I like for it but I want to see if this one works as well. I guess so without further ado here's the video. So it's basically like brow styling soap. I wet the brush. Let me go ahead and brush my eyebrow. Whoa. Okay, I mean, I'd say it worked. I'd be curious to know if it like stays all day long, but I feel like it groomed my eyebrows. It did what it said it would. It also comes with two and like one brush for each eyebrow. I kind of think I like it. I always like, like, I don't wear a ton of makeup ever. I basically just comb my eyebrows and put on some mascara. So if I can find some good brow products, I'm gonna go for them. It's up to you guys, I can't decide. Let me know what you think. All right, next, another kitchen appliance. These are your favorite, I know they are. Here's the video. I'm always alarmed when I see packages that like have this as seen on, this, on TV. Like it just reminds me of Graveyard Girl. I don't know if you guys remember her. Dude, those videos were so good. I wish she was still making those. But she used to do like as seen on TV reviews and I remember I like peed my pants laughing at them. I don't know if they're actually still that funny or if I just was like 10 years old and thought they were funny. I'm Graveyard Girl, I need like a... <sighs> if you know, you know, okay? All right, oh wow. I'm concerned. This looks like something you'd find at the OBGYN. I'm not gonna lie. Second of all, it looks kind of dirty. Like there's kind of some stuff on it and I don't know how I feel about that. Okay, I'm here to give it a shot. It promises you will never have to worry about shells in your food. Okay, I'm squeezing. Okay, do y'all see that? There's no eggs in there. I do have to say, no or no shell in there. Okay, that scared me, first of all. I was nervous, not gonna lie. Did it work? Yes. Did it deliver? Yes. Is it practical? No. I just think everybody should know how to crack an egg and not get shells in the, the food. But if you really do have troubles with that, this is a good option. It worked. Not something I would particularly recommend to buy for everybody though. Okay, next product. This has no practicality to it at all. I just really wanted to try it. This packaging kind of makes me scared. They're giving people gift cards to, to make reviews. <laughs> okay, and also, I didn't get any suckers. Ready? I feel like there is no practical use to this, but like, I don't, I don't know. Here, you guys want a sucker? Also, what happened to it? It's like melted. Kind of fun. All right, next video. I am super pumped about this one. I think it could totally work. I also do really like a clean car, so I'm not sure I feel about that, but let's see what you guys think. Something smells weird, I don't know what it is. Ooh, it's in front of me. I can see till this corner and until this. I mean, I have about three feet on both sides where I can see. I think this is gonna work. I'm gonna put it in my car and try it. 
but this could be interesting. All right, y'all, in my car. That's ridiculous. It just so seriously like widens it so much. If you're sitting where I am, you can see the beautiful mountains and Dollar Tree. Y'all can kind of see that. Not super wide, right? Can't really see blind spots. There we go. Snazzy. You can see a lot. Y'all see what I'm seeing? Do you see how much more you can see? Wow. <laughs> that's kind of cool. I don't really like that it's like blue, but that's for like it's not supposed to like blind you, I guess, when people are like behind you, which is kind of nice. I don't know, I'm kind of a fan. Like I can see all my blind spots. I wanna try driving with it and see what I think after that. Okay, after driving around for a little bit, this thing is nice, guys. You can see everything. I don't love that like you can see yourself. I, I feel like that might distract some people, um, but like you have to in order to see. But I can see like all the, everything from the left and to the right. And I feel like everybody should have this. And I honestly feel like they should just install this in cars in the first place. So I'm gonna keep it. I really like it and I think it's super helpful. This is a game changer for driving. Next we have these light dims, blackout edition. It's supposed to block all light, like chargers and plugs and stuff in the middle of the night. Once we got the sunset, I'm gonna test these out. But for now, here's the video showing what they do. These little babies, always shining. I'm curious to see if like you can still see it in the daylight and if it just blocks it at night or during the daylight too, because I need to see the lights to see if it's charged, but I don't want to see them at night. All right, so I mean, they definitely dimmed the lights. Like you can't see anything at all. Not even dimmed, I'd say they like completely covered them. But this could work for something you do want to cover up permanently. Like maybe it's like a camera light or something. I don't know. Baby monitor light. You know, it worked. I'll give it a thumbs up. Okay, and the last item. I've seen this on TikTok so many times. I personally just don't have a use for it, but it's it's been too many times I had to just buy it and try it. <laughs> we had to go for it. So I'm sure you've seen this. Here's a video though. called the clocky. It's kind of cute actually. There it is. It's gonna go. Any minute now. It's gonna take off. Oh. <laughs> hey, that would definitely wake me up. <laughs> it scared me and I am awake. Yeah, um, I think that would wake me up. Took off and those noises, I was expecting like an alarm that was like robot noises and it scared me. Personally, I don't use an alarm clock. Like, and if I do, I'm just gonna use my phone. But if you have trouble getting out of bed, that could be a good option for you. <laughs> I'm still scared. <laughs> like literally, that, that got me so off guard. <laughs> if you have a hard time getting out of bed, go for it. All right, well, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Let me know what your favorite product that you saw was and which one you would buy. If you do want to buy any of them, I have the link in the description box below so you can check them out. It'll take you straight to them. Honestly, most of these I think I would buy this time. I feel like a lot of them are really good and pretty practical, which is something I feel like a lot of these products aren't. Some of them were and I am here for practicality. I don't know if that's a word, but I keep saying it, so we're going with it. But. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you next week. Bye.